So Brett, we know that, so we've talked earlier about resume. So a client or a job seeker sends their resume, a recruiter checks, yes, I want to speak with their, this guy. They go on their LinkedIn, hopefully they have a LinkedIn account and it's very uh, full and optimized. Some people have LinkedIn, some people don't have, some people have banner, not have. But lately we have seen that it's good to have LinkedIn. It's good to have your personal brand, which is part of uh, with the value element, which we, that we spoke about in the other video. But it comes now content creation. And some people say, why I need to create content? Or I don't know how to create content. What this content creation is going to add or how this is going to separate me from others. From your perspective, why it's important and where can students or new immigrants or new graduates can start? That's a great question. I think one of the things that uh, it, it comes with the territory of considering content creation is a lot of anxiety. Mm -hmm. I, th I think uh, particularly for young adults, students, new graduates, um, immigrants new to the country, I think it's so easy to be uh, intimidated um, yes. uh, on a platform like LinkedIn, where you see these these amazing professionals doing so many awesome things. And yeah. it's very, very easy mm -hmm. to get consumed with the comparison game and feeling as though, oh my, wow, you know, I, how in the world yeah. can I, can I possibly represent myself to that degree? And it's, it's so important to take a step back first and, and remember that everybody's journey has to start with a, a single footstep. Yes. Nobody Nobody who's creating brilliant content started that way. They <laughs> and have zero followers or zero comments. Exactly, exactly. So we all need a starting point. Yeah. Um, but in terms of, of content creation, what I love to tell uh, the, the clients that I work with is, you know, really start with dipping your toes in the water. Start yeah. with maybe just a comment. Start, a, you know, with doing something that's that's pretty easy that's yeah. that's not a heavy lift if you find a, a great article or a great post from someone you know just provide just your take on it just yeah. a little bit of an added perspective just to get a sense of what it feels like to to throw your perspective into the mix um in terms of for the the active job seeker, I think it's it's a game changer, and it really really can be because it it helps in both aspects of job search. I think one of the the biggest is that it provides uh, for those that are actively looking for position; those are in the active stage. Yes, it prov it provides a great you know trail mm -hmm. that that these uh, prospective hiring managers can use to say, oh yeah, this, this person's credible. They have, uh, this is something that they care about. This is something that they post about. This is, yes. you know, and, and you're giving them assets to be able to validate your credibility as a candidate. Yeah. And I, I think that that's so important and, and it will differentiate you. And that was another thing that you mentioned yeah. too. It differentiates you from other competitors who aren't using that, who aren't yeah. taking advantage of that. The I, other, the, yeah. oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. No, no, I would say I tell my clients or the people I'm helping, you know, identify 10 or 15 companies that you want to work, mm -hmm. follow them on LinkedIn, engage with their content. And maybe very specifically every, let's say every day, 10 comments at 10 a.m. for those 10 companies, Monday, Wednesday, Thursday. That is consistency. And, and as you mentioned, uh, st small by step, you can grow from small comments to maybe one or two sentences, and maybe after that, why it becomes uh, longer statements. Mm -hmm. I love it. I love it. And and that is, I mean, it's it's a, a, a slow progression of developing yeah. comfort and yeah. you know feeling as though you're developing your voice. And I, 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 I love that. I think the, the last thing that I would just say to, to kind of add on to this is that when, when you get into a flow of creating content, whether big or small, whether it's, it's just a, a, a small little comment on a post or it's something that you are creating and maybe you're doing an entire article or, or something of that nature or a video 
or you know audio content it could be any number of different things that, that you're creating but the other advantage to doing that is you can also create a community of people who care about what you care about believe what you believe um, are inspired by what you put out there that can lead you to opportunities yes and i mean i mean uh, what a perfect example of that than, than this, this is how we got connected. Yeah. You know, uh, we both share very similar, um, passions and, and interest and we communicated through LinkedIn. Here we are. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's what happened. I also tell the clients that the, on Google, there's a lot of articles, right? Whatever you're passionate about, which we talked about in the first video of values and whatever makes you happy, find articles summarize it and say, I read this article. These are my five takeaways, hashtag related to that, or even tag some people. And then maybe every Friday at 5 p.m. you do this. And by the end of the year, you'll have 24 posts already related to something that you like. And then when recruiters come and check your profile, oh, this is a, uh, he is expert in this field. Uh, he knows what he's talking about and he's sharing it. And then that's what makes you different, as you mentioned earlier. I love it. And I love the fact that you don't have to work terribly hard with that. You can you can create so many different pieces of content from mm -hmm. one article. I mean, <laughs> you That's, know, yeah. it's yeah. great. Thank you again for those great tips, Brad. And then for the audience watching or listening, if you have any more tips, you can leave them below. And tune in next time for my final question with Brad. Mm -hmm.